night. Go to the Pontus. Can you all hear my dog barking? No. Okay, uh, good. Ego uka kuo. Don kuna. Okay. Arahumes horate. Tan tinyanmu. Horoge. A loss. Let's see. Ho Argos. Who can see? Oh, sorry. Ar Argos. Ho, Ar Ho Argos. Who can see Argos? Who can see lazy? A la speedy, keen, sharp, speedy. Ho, Ar Ho Argos. Hormai. Hormai epiton lucon. Hormao. Semine set out for. Um, rush upon set out horma horma. Um, epi ton lucon malon kai haton esti tolto kai pros ton lucon ala pros semine monon towards ala epi kai itetica kai accusative esti. Towards slash against. See contra. See in Catal in Catalina. It's a contra Catalina. Epi ton luco. Um Carlos. Okay. Um oh Yoel. Um Anagnoti ton proton logon antibolose. <clears throat> Uh, how do you say gladly, or like how do you say libenta? Uh, hedeos, hedeos. Okay, hedeos. Epeide doi aulioi proschorusin hote Philippos kai hopapos polyn psophon akuusin. Uh, Hylacteigar agrios ho argos, tade probata polyn thoribon poiei. Kalos, kalos. Tisa mine anglisti epe. Then? When. Mm -hmm. Oh, when, okay. Toi alioi pros corusin, because the epe de binusin, but this is in pros. Ton or pros to alion. But the Philippos, Kayo Papos, Polyun Psopon, Psopon Akusin, Psopos is the noise, inhuman noise. Toribos is the clamor, Toribos is the human noise. In British Parliament. Um, uh, Psopos. Is broad, it's not human noise, but just noise. Um, polyum psophon acuusin, hulacte, woof, 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 hulacte gar agrios, Epi, uh, epirema, adverb, epirema, agrios, hulacte ho argos, ta de probata, polyun. Toribon boy. Okay, so Toribos isn't only a human sound, but it's so poi anthropoi tuto poiusin kai taprobata tuto poiusin. Um Toribos is clamor, Psophos is strepitus. Malon kaheto. Um a loss. Uh, ara erotemata erotate? Uh. Hello? Okay. Um, o Petra. Uh, anagnoti antibolos tuton ton logon. 
Peyudu sin un voluntai gar gignoskein ti pasque ta probata. Hmm. Pos legatai alos speudu sin? Malon kai haton? Tacheos tacheos bainu sin. Mm-hmm. Nein. Tacheos bainu sin, tacheos badizu sin, trechu sin, tacheos erkontai, tacheos proskoru sin, kaitoli pa. Voluntai gar gignoskein, tipa, tisa mani anglis di gignoskein. Find out. Mm -hmm. yeah, to know something. To know, to learn, to find out. Esti in antion, toi kanemati agnoeo, right? Agnoo esti ignoro. No me negative. Um, gignosco es di um, hosper nosco noscare no we notum um, ti pasque ah no ti pasque ta probata ti somane anglis di pasque uh, uh, happen undergo like what what's going on with the sheep right mm -hmm. nice, so, nice, nice. i guess literally what are the sheep putting up with what are this what are the sheep suffering mm -hmm. kalista kalista uh akari bestata most accurately akari bestata apis um Hos acribos a pain is to put it literally hos acribos a pain to learn what the sheep are suffering or undergoing, but night um isos what's going on with yeah pasco gar to to gar pasco esti to alto kai patior Pati pasus sum pro maesti. It is just the herisda, the root. Herisda is the herisda proto europeo indice. Um, no, proto indo europeo Um, to undergo, to, to, to experience, to suffer. Um, Patior, Pasio Christi, Pasco Esti Tuato. Kalos. Um, okay. Uh, Petre. Um, Anagnoti Antipolo se tutonton logo. Protos un parestin o pais kai idu o men argos. Mene proste hodoi kai agrios uh, lacte kata baine de ek tu orus prosto auli aulion lucos megas. Ooh. Protos un parestin hopais kai idu homen argos wof wof. Mene pros te hodoi. Ukesti pros tan hodon. Ukesti towards. Ala tisamane angesti pros te hodo. Pros kai doti gay. Pros kai dative. Like near? No, at. At. At or near at like at, so like on the spot sort of or something. Yeah, to 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 tetarton kepalayon onomazetai pros tei crane, right? Who gets the pros tan crane towards the uh, spring, mm -hmm. but at the spring? Pros kai itiatike accusative as the towards. 
proskydotike esti hosper ablative of place where. Because mm-hmm. uka esti ablative. Helen esti uka esti ablative. So the, the ablative uses are distributed throughout genitive and dative. Cool. They're spread out through genitive and dative in Greek. And ablative of place where is dative of place where, including with this preposition, pros or para, that would work too, para or pros, tei odoi. Um, kai agrios, teinos, agrios, hulakte, wof, 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 wof. What, what is mene? Ah, mene es di tuauto, kai uh, maneo, manere. Yeah. Re maneo, re manere. Uh huh. That's another proto in European, uh, risda proto indo europaike. Okay. Kata, kata baine, uk ana baine, ala kata baine, ek tu orus. So to oros, tu orus, third declension, is the Kaine lexis from the from the previous reading. O Petra, tisamane to oros. Is it, um, is it like a mountain? Mm-hmm. Mountain. Mm-hmm. Or big hill. No. Ek to oros pros to aulion lucos megas. Notice, of course, the suspenseful order, just like we could do in Latin. Um. First, then. His present boy and look, Argos remains at the road and fiercely barks, but descends from the mountain towards the sheepfold, a wolf, a big one. That great Latin slash Greek word of earth, the yeah. most emphatic, the most oomph, oomphy part is at the end, Lucos Megas. Sorry, I zoned out for a second. What's aulion? Uh, sheepfold. The most useless, uh, low-frequency word in the chapter. Okay. <laughs> this... And it keeps coming up. <laughs> no shame if you don't remember it. It's okay. I didn't write this book. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, Yoel. Um, anagroti antibolos tuton ton logo. Homen un Philippos mega boai, kai lithus lambane, kai balle ton lu ton lucon, hode argos hormai epauton, kai hutos ag, ag, agrios uh, empipte hoste anastere uh, anastrefe ho lucos, kai apofauge. Mm. Let me try that again. Homen un Philippos mega boai, kai lithus lambane, kai balle ton lucon, hode argos hormai epauton, kai hutos agrios empipte, empipte, empipte hoste anastrefe ho lucos, kai apofeuge. Colos, colos. Pop up grammar in English. Remember, men un, there's no magical way to translate it, but it's sort of like with your voice slash maybe a word like now. Now, Philip does this other stuff. Homen un Philippos. Huh? Um, mega boy. Ah! Mega boy. Kailitus oh, Lambane. Mega is mm-hmm. an adverb there? Aha. So... Hos, well, kata to schema, according to form, according to exact form. Kata to schema, epiteton, ala, mm, well, esti, esti epirema, mm-hmm. esti epirema. It's working like an epirema. Um, I mentioned this last time. You'll see it whenever you get around to it. Of course, I have to upload the damn things first. Um, Last week, Pet Peter and I talked about this. Mega is a good, the first good example we come across of, of technically it's like a neuter, you know, adjective. Mm-hmm. But in Greek, neuter adjectives, especially neuter plural, 
can be adverbs. They work like adverbs. So that's why if you spend time with like Christoph Rico at Polis, he will say not just kalos like I do, but he'll say kalista, kalista. Kalista is the superlative of kalos, but technically it's neuter plural of most beautiful, most noble, but it's working like an adverb. It's working like the superlative of, of not kalon, but kalos. So you see that it happens plenty in Greek. Dikaiotata, dikaiotata. By form, it means most just things, but in meaning, it's like most justly. Um, mega is a kind of funky, irregular, uh, neuter adjective that, that's used adverbially. So he shouts bigly. <laughs> I'm shouting bigly. No one's ever shouted as much as I've shouted. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout so much. You're gonna be tired of shouting you know, bigly. Um, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, he shouts bigly. He shouts loudly. Kailitus lambane, Hosper David, David, David and Goliath. Litus lambane, Kai bale. Tonukon. Okay, so mm, you might think bale toy lukoi or bale pros tonukon, like throws at, but mm -hmm. bale tonukon is more like pelts. Mm -hmm. It's slightly different meaning. With the preposition or with the dative, it would just mean like throw the ball at me. Hey, bale moi, ten spider. But bale accusative is like pelts. It's a little bit more violent. Bale tonukon. So he's not throwing a wolf around. <laughs> no, he's not throwing the wolf. That's right. He's pelt <laughs> he's pelting the wolf. Um Hora Argos Unum un, uh, hen duo tria ar, hormai. Hormai set out, start doing a thing, or just more violent, more violently or more forcefully um rush upon but it's got this kind of hen duo tria da -da, go like it's start out um set upon hormai epalton to just the epi tondukon kai hutos agrios this result clause so agrios in peep day. So peep day is fall. You guys know that already. Peep day is fall. In peep day, fall upon. Hence, more accurately, more idiomatically. Jumps on or something. Yeah, attacks. It's one of the like 17 ways to say attacks. Um, just like Latin. Zillion words for kill. Zillion words for attack. In peep day, fall upon. Like, like uh, attack. He attacks so agrios. Hoste. Tisamane hoste. That. That. Right. And this is great news. No subjunctive. Oh, thank God. No subjunctive needed for these rule clauses. That. Holukos anastrefe. Anastrefe is like epanerkatai. Uh, I think we've seen that one before. Epanerkatai. But we haven't seen anastrefe. Um, like goes goes back, goes home, retreats. Mm -hmm. um, anastrefe is slightly more Koine. It's not non-attic because it wouldn't be in this book if it was non attic but epanerkatai is the most common word for goes back, returns. Mm -hmm. We've had it before with epanemi, epanemi, go back, go back, last time. But anastrefe is even more common in koine, just by coincidence, just by how the, the cookie crumbled. Um, it's literally like turn back, anastrefe. Uh, Holukos anastrefe kai apo peuge. What's the difference between peuge and apo peuge? It's a small difference. Uh, peuge is he starts running away. Apo peuge is he successfully runs away. Yeah, it's like fuget versus f fuget. Mm -hmm. The peug thing is. Flee, run away, and the oppo pale goes run away. So it's just a little bit more, a little stronger. And uh, a quick, quick note from last time again, not in this context, but in other prose texts, idiomatically, uh, an attic 
legal Greek, pelge and dioke are not just flee and flees and pursues, but be the defendant and be the prosecution. Um, ho pelgon, the fleer, is the defendant, and ho diokon is the prosecutor uh, in Attic legal terms. You don't need to know that now, but whatever. Um, okay. Oh, speaking of the devil. Or Lucos in Toy Mutoy. Dioke men un ho cuon, ho de pidipos speude meta auton. Tisamare dioke? Pursues. Mm -hmm. Pursues, chases. And, okay. Tisamane meta auton. After? Mm -hmm. After or behind him. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately. Meta autu, meta in the gen, kai genike, is with him. Mm -hmm. Meta kai itiatike, you do. After or behind. Mm -hmm. Um. Again, I have a hint for this, but it doesn't work for everyone. You have to be like a philosophy nerd, so it's kind of crappy. The metaphysics of Aristotle, the original meaning of that, right, is he has a book called The Physics, eight chapter, eight big books. It discusses the nature of time and motion and all these very hard things, very abstract things. You can't go to the metaphysics, which is about being, qua being, the capital B, the most abstract you can get. You can't talk about that if you haven't mastered things like time and motion and whatever and rest. The metaphysics was originally labeled that because it's the thing you're supposed to read only after you've read the physics. Um, so I don't know if that's terribly helpful from people other than nerds like me who are philosophy nerds, but that's all I got for trying to remember meta. Um, okay. Um Yoel, uh, anagnoti antibolo se tuton ton logo. But a papos, and I don't know what a papos is. Grandpa. Uh, grandpa, okay. Hode, hode papos, ede, ede, eis akron to, ho, to oros, heke, ede, eis akron to horos heke. Kai ton lukon horai kai boai. El fed dauro, Filippe, me dioke alle epanelte, alle panelte. Let me try that again. Hode papos ede eis arcon to ho shit. Hode papos e, you know what, never mind. It's okay. No, anagoti, anagoti. Hode papos ede eis akron to oros heke kai ton lukon horai kai boai. El fed dauro, Filippe, me dioke alle panelte. Kalos, kalista, kalista. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. getting, getting both the accents, the moving accents and the vowel lengths is just not easy. Kalapon, kalapon esti. Okay. Ada, ada, malon kai haton esti to alto kai to nun ala postia pere, postia pere to nun kai to ada. Smikron, smikra diafora. I thought it was already. No, it's the so. Hromaisti men yam kai nunk Hellenisti de ade kai nun to alto to alto ade eniote sometimes eniote esti nun nun ade ade nun plus mm -hmm. um but ade verges on yam verges on already slash now. So, Grandpa already, Grandpa now, ace akron to oros. This came up last time, Joel. Um, just like Latin, hosped Um, u legatai, well, not mostly, u legatai 
to the top of the mountain, but Hosper Romaisti, like what? Uh, ad sumam, sumum montem, ad sumam arkem. It matches, the adjective matches. Es akron, sure, ouch, 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 aker, akra, aker, acrimonious, acerbic, spicy, you know, acropolis. Ow, 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 ow. Es akronto oros, hake. Hack all uh, is a very important verb because it comes up a lot. Um, kata to schema, kata to form or tense, and estos, present. Kata de mm, tensemasian, the meaning, perfect. Have come, have arrived. Grandpa. Has arrived already. Top down. Kai tonukon porai. Kai boy. El te de oro piliper. Me dioke. Al epaneote. Epaneote. Epan a me. Epan elf. Epan erchomai. Is the anastrefe. Come back. Anastrefe. An epanelte. Kalos. But so so <clears throat> so epanerchomai is retreat and return. Return. Oh oh return. Okay, got it, got it. Okay. Now I understand. Yeah, the epan prefix is back. So come back, return back. Um okay, let's look at the picture first. Ho argos ton lucon odax odax lambane kai Kateke. So, odax es di epirema, adverb, epirema, by the teeth, by the odus, um, orthodontist. Lambane odax kai kateke. So, we know eke is have, and kata is supposed to usually mean like down, have down, it's restrain. Kateke is restrain, hold hold back, hold down. So ho argos ton lucon orach rangar kar kateke. Um ooh, now we get the violent part. Joel's gonna love this. He's gonna call PETA on us. Um it's okay. You're a, you're a gentle soul, it's okay. We respect that. Um Petra. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't make. I can't make Joel read these. Uh, it's, it's too cruel. Uh, Petra, uh, anagnoti antipolo. Munde o argos ton lucon odax lambane kai atehe o de pilipos hede uh, parasti kai ten machairan. Machairan lambane kai tukde ton lukon. Hmm. Yunde. O argos. Ton lukon. Odak ravanu kai kateke. O de pilipos. Ede par estin. Uh, hode estin. Kai lambane ten shing. Machairan. Kai tukde ton lukon. Uh, pulsat, pulsat, uh, to, uh, lupum. Ho de aspire, aspire, kai katapipte pros tan gan. Um, oh, this ho de, I mentioned this. A few lessons ago, but it's going to have to come up a bunch of times because it's easy to forget. When you have two, let's say two characters, two two persons, or, or in this case is an animal, whatever. Um, they're both masculine. Uh, even though, even though de is a bunch of the time um, connective, it's just it's just kai, it's just and, and the other half of the time it's adversative, but. 
a weak but. Not as strong as Allah, but same thing. Um, when there's two people, whenever you see a hodet and it doesn't specify the subject, it, that in just Greek uses, that can never, ever, ever be continuative. It's not like we were just talking about Philippos in the last sentence, and then we say in the next sentence, hode, and that means and Philip. No, 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 never. If there's a but hode, so, I mean, it's, it's never the subject of the last sentence. Right. It's the other guy. Or in okay. this case, in this case, it's an animal, but whatever. Usually it's a guy. It's the other guy. Hode cannot refer back to the same person you were just talking about as continuative. It's for a native speaker, a Greek speaker, it's like Hode immediately tells me it's the other one. Now, if it says Hode Philippos, that's different. That's different because you said Philippos. So now it's an and. But if it's just Hode, shorthand, that's a but. That's the other, not the same guy. So Hode <laughs> Philippos, blah, 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 blah. Hode, zip, no mention of the subject, that definitely has to be the wolf. It has to be the wolf. That's how Greek works. So if this were, uh, if the sentence before were Hode Lukos e de Paresti, kai tupte ton Philippon, Hode would be about the would be about Philip. Yes, unmistakably, unmistakably, yeah. that is a rule. So I'll bring that up whenever I see it because it takes a long time to remember it. It's just a subtle detail. Kalos. This this only usually comes up when you're trying to write like simple Greek stories as a teacher for your Greek classes, and you put it online and you get criticism and you get people and people are like, hey you can't really do that buddy like that's that's not an and that's really not an and you you've got to put the name in there but if you don't put the name in there you it's automatically like punting that ping pong ball back to the other that's how it works when you just have hode it's always the other okay tell us um. Uh, let's see. I'll do this one. Um, oh, let me do the caption first. Hopapos ton lukon horai epitege kemenon. So kemenon is yakenten. Kemenon is lying. It's a participle. A deponent participle. It looks looks passive, but it's active. Um, hopapos ton lukon horai epitege kemenon. In Tauta da pros corre hopapos kai ton lukon horai epitege kemenon. In Tauta can be here or even just now or here upon. It could be spatial or temporal. In Tauta is, is usually, yeah. At this point, indeed, hopapos pros corre kai horai ton lukon came in on epi tagay um you could also say epi task gas genitive is the same thing you could do epi plus the genitive or the dative they both mean on or upon uh we don't say just a quick side note when i do those riddles with my animal word bank i don't say this secret animal the the riddle you're trying to guess it lives N te gay. You won't hear me say N te gay because unlike Latin, N te gay means like inside of. <laughs> it's like subterranean inside of the earth. That's not what you're going to say. I'll say epites gas, or perhaps epite gay, upon the earth, not in the earth. Greek is more precise than Latin. Uh, okay. Uh, Petra. Uh, Anagnothi anti below. How must be unkai heuge opai pesin mana andreos e? Talmazdo is the Lexis Nea, Lexis Kaine. Talmazdo is the. Whoa! Talmazdo! Ego el Talmazdo! Mirror, ad mirror from my sleep. Whoa, Tamazdo. Tamazde un hopapos. Kai euge 
Elge Opai. That scene. Mala Andreos, hey. Um, Elge. We, we Latin teachers know that because we stole it from Greek. Elge. Papai. Hey, yo. But Andreos. Tisamani Andreos, Andrea, Andreon. Epiteton. Manly. Mm hmm. Courageous, brave, or, of course, originally manly, right? Because that's just like with virtus in Latin. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's any reason to, it's not offensive. It's just understand where people are coming from. And in primitive times, who does the fighting? It's the men who do the fighting. And what's the most important virtue when you're living in a dog eat dog world? It's the fighting. So the original meaning of virtue or, or courage is manliness. It's confidence in the face of risk on the battlefield. That's how it works. Um, or in this case, in, in the face of a wolf. You are so manly. Yes, you are courageous. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my grandson. Yeah. What a badass. That's right. Um, Mala Andreos, eh? Ego, a me, su, a, autos, esti, emes, esmen, humes, este, autoi, autai, esin. You are uh, Andreos. Um, it's always a funny thing when I have kids in my class. If I have a a girl named Andrea, it happens from time to time. Right? I was like, "Yeah, your name means manliness. That's okay." But it's it's courage, though, and of course, you too are capable of courage and blah blah blah. But you know, in, its, <laughs> in its origin, is you know, it's a it's a man's work a few thousand years ago. Okay, um, megas garastin holucos kai. Agrios, siude, oh, arge, agatos, e, q, on, oh, agatos, e, q, on, elgar, top, tap, probata, pulates. This is the word from last time, pulato, uh, Petra, do you remember pulato? It was like a guard. Guard. Mm -hmm. What are our hint words from English? One of which is kind of funny. I forget. Um, phylactery, prophylactic, prophylactic is the most, it's still kind of an obscure word, but it's the most common of the ones we have. Prophylactic, an IUD is standing guard uh, at that particular place of the anatomy to say, don't come in here. <laughs> we, we're not looking for babies here. Prophylactic. Um, phylactery, prophylactery, prophylactic. Um, Kalos. Okay. Agathos. Oh, is that's new technically. Agathos. Do you guys already know that? No. Good. Good. So Kalos is technically beautiful, fine, or noble. And I won't go into that rabbit hole. There's a whole spiel about that. Why that's not the same thing as good. Agathos, agate, agaton is bonus. It's good. Ag Agatha is, of course, the name we get from that. The opposite of kakos, bad. Um, technically, the opposite of kalos, kale, kalon, is aiskros, aiskre, aiskron, which is ugly, which includes moral, just, just as kalos includes moral beauty, fineness, that, oh, that was a beautiful thing you did the other day. I really respect it. That was a beautiful thing you did. That was really noble. Or firefighters on 9-11 running up the twin towers knowing they might not come back alive we call that not good well it's also good but we it's beautiful it's noble it's kalos it kalos gives you just like with okay i'm gonna give you the spiel actually the short version just as physical beauty is immediate right you don't have to think about it. you don't have to deliberate oh is this good or is it, is it beautiful no it's a beautiful body a beautiful face it's instant you know you're instantly attracted Things that are morally beautiful, that are fine or noble, have the same instantaneousness. Uh, a little, a twelve-year-old boy is helping an old lady across the street without being asked. You know, oh my God, well, what a sweetheart! What a, he's so his parents did a good job. You know, like, what a beautiful thing. You don't have to stop and think about it. Um, whether it's good to go to war with, I don't know, Iraq or someplace or not, that might require like deliberation. That might require a lot of fact finding and. 
work because it's like gray and complicated but beauty moral beauty is like instant when when a boy helps an old lady across the street or firefighters running up the twin towers risking their own lives to save innocent people you, you just immediately feel uh attraction to them the way you do to a beautiful woman or a beautiful man and so kalos kale kalon is definitely that and the opposite is ice cross which is either physically ugly or turpitude or that is say abstractly ugly which is morally ugly foul uh, uh disgraceful um but agathos is the regular word for good um so uh, that's not even the whole story we'll come back to that i'm sure later but kalos and agathos are not the same thing they have an interesting relationship with each other but the kalos is very immediate it's unconscious. You don't have to think about it. Whereas the agathos, sometimes you do have to think about it because it might be a little bit complicated and requires some reasoning. But nobody has to reason about whether it's beautiful to see like a kid helping an old lady across the street. It's instant. That's beautiful. David, can I tell you? I sure. have I've studied Greek. This is this is the third time I'm learning Greek over the last thousand years. And I have never understood, nobody has ever been able to explain the difference between kalos and agathos to me in a way that I understood, except until you. So oh, thank you. Did that make yeah. sense? Was that actually not crazy? That makes total sense. Yeah. I'm so glad to hear that. I mean, it's because of my philosophy background. We've spent a lot of time with this. It's in Plato and Aristotle and all this stuff, but it's agathos. It can be immediate. I'm not saying it's always hard. I'm just saying it can be hard. Like, there can be time like the good that's saying the good can be genuinely difficult especially like i mentioned the example of the prime example to go to war or not go to war there might be strong arguments on both sides there might be reasons why you might think it's in the national interest to declare war on this dictator and reasons to think no this is terrible this is we're biting us or shooting ourselves in the foot and so just ascertaining the good might be very difficult it might involve a lot of work but that's never true of the noble or the beautiful. It's instant, just like physical beauty. Is, is you don't have to think about. Oh, is she is she gorgeous or is she not gorgeous? I don't really know. I can't. Natalie Portman. I'm on the fence. Is Natalie Portman beautiful? I don't even know. She's beautiful. Okay, to me at least, she's beautiful. Natalie Portman is ridiculously beautiful. Um, I don't have to think about it. There's no deliberation necessary. But the good might very well be complicated. But the Kalon is like, oh, what? This guy is like running into a burning building to try to save babies? There's no thought required there. I just, I'm, I'm moved. I'm deeply moved, just like I'm moved by Natalie Portman's face. It's like, boom, done. No question. That so, is the difference between Kalon and Agathon. Agathos can be either one, essentially. And it can over it can overlap. Some it's complicated. Yeah, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole, but yeah. Okay, uh, um, my rule of thumb will be that usually agathos is the the second one. Sure. Right. Well, you could say it this way: kalon, to kalon, the noble, the fine, the inspiring, is above and beyond something like the just is obligatory. You don't like you don't um, have a parade for like a business owner who doesn't cheat his employees. He doesn't shave off five cents of every paycheck so he can pocket it for himself. Like you don't give him a parade. You don't give him a gold medal. It's like, dude, you're not supposed to cheat your employees. That's unjust. That's like horrible. Like, don't do that. If a guy doesn't cheat his employees, you don't give him a parade or a gold medal. It's like obligatory. Toka alone is always above and beyond. It's always like, oh my gosh, that's not just the bare minimum we have to do to not be unjust men and women that's beautiful that, that's amazing like that that guy risked his life to uh, scully uh, the, the 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 pilot right so, oh he he was the last guy on the ship he made sure everybody was off the plane before he got out he risked his life to say that's so gorgeous you know if it's morally gorgeous if i can use that expression that's tokalone ab par excellence it inspires you it's a little bit above what you expect from the average person the good is complicated because it might involve reasoning. The just is 
kind of baseline and you don't really give gold medals for people to being just it's kind of like you're just supposed to be just you know it's baseline to cologne it's like man that's really up there it's just beautiful it inspires you but so yeah in a, way, in a way the grandfather kind of a little bit means kakos uh, kalos yeah, yeah right in this in this, in this context it wouldn't matter so much right it's right, not right. that important it's not yeah. philosophically huge whether the dog is a good dog or a noble you know it's just a dog right, yeah. but so yeah there are cases where you don't want to like read too much into it but but in significant contexts there is a difference there is a little bit of a difference agathos because remember one of the synonyms in all these languages for good is advantageous beneficial uh, to your interest, if you're pursuing your own good, which is not a sin, it's not it's not a bad thing to pursue your own good, assuming you're not being a scoundrel, pursuing your own good, pursuing your own interest, pursuing your own benefit, pursuing your own advantage, pursuing your own profit, those are okay, but they're not really inspiring though. Like you, you expect a living creature who has a, a survival instinct to pursue their own good. There's nothing inspiring about it. But to pursue talk alone is to be serving something higher than yourself something that's that's resplendent and higher than yourself maybe it's your god your country your family, you know something that's that is higher than yourself and that's what really makes people's eyes light up to to agathon and to dikaion the good and the just don't make your eyes light up but to alone makes your eyes light up that's another shorthand way i could i could express it but i apologize i i'm sacrificing our language time because i was waxing poetic about philosophy i apologize Let's do what we can here. Um Nunda Pilipe. Oi kada spude. Hagar matter dapu. Etele gignoskin u e kaiti paskes. Dapu, that's new. Dapu is surely, indeed, for sure. Karate. For mother like your mother's surely, got your mother's gotta wanna know. Exactly. Gotta want to know. That's a great way to put it. Where you are and what's going on with you. Uh, again, that's a good the translation you had. What what you're suffering, what you're undergoing is like horribly bad translation. What's going on with you? What's the case with you? What's happening with you? So, epeide te oikiai proskorusin ten metera porosin. Uh, Joel, uh, anagnoti anti below. Homen un papos speude prosautan kai panta lege. Mm -hmm. Tisa mine, um, panta. Everything. Yeah, it's omnia. It's, it's yeah. neuter plural. Neuter plural. Ha de, that's that thing again, right? Ha de. Now here it's more obvious because she's the only feminine person, but whatever. It's gotta be not him, but the other if, if, if it were Tade, or no, it couldn't be Tade. But no, it could never mind. Never mind. Just keep yeah, going yeah, up. Yeah, I, I know I know what you're thinking. It's okay. Hede. Ara alate leges. Elge o pai. Mara Andreos e. What's alata leges? Just to make sure we know that. Truly, mm -hmm. true things. Technically, it's neuter plural. You're speaking. Are you speaking true things? Where mm -hmm. Oh, splendid! Bravo! Oh, by ma Andreas, hey, Pilipe, anagnoti anti Me? Okay. Did I say Philippe? I'm sorry. Petra, Petra, <laughs> Petra. Petra. Al idu pros corre he melita apo tes crenes el tedero o melita kai acue acue o gar Philippos lucom apectonen. Okay. So he melita. It's a rare case where the book 
has to unshelter grammar because it can't not say it right. Apektonin is perfect tense of this verb apotheneskal, which we don't technically know yet, to kill. Oh. I know I know Joel knows it because he's reading Jack reading Greek, and it's a big verb in the first chapter. But apektonin is a past tense of of, of kill. Hmm. Um oh look what listen to what your brother did today. He's a but, he's a manly young man. This is kind of lame. I mean, this is not great because it's the dog that did it. <laughs> Philip had nothing to do with it. That's just, the, the, say Joel, it. the Joel reading. I, I was expecting yeah, this. Um, yeah, is <laughs> Joel is, is very underdog, very contrarian. I respect that. I, sometimes I'm with him. I'm sometimes I agree with him, and sometimes I don't. But even when I don't, I respect it. I really do respect it. It's, it's, uh, it's very Jewish of you, uh, if I if I maybe say that. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's one, of the, it's one of the things that that I love about your people and your history is that the underdog spirit. Yeah, uh, it's it's gorgeous, and uh, I I give you full. Credit. No. It means it means oh, the world to me. Us. Well, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Can... Homen un papos panta altis altis legate. What's altis? Again, mm -hmm. had a melita malista talmas day kai lege hoti kai kai ho argos wolf wolf kai ho pilipos mala andreoi ac uh kai iskuroi epita de then like tum dain de uh hemeter noon de. El tedeuro o pile pessim. Kai katis de. Katis de. Or katison. Same thing. Aeris. Present. Present aeris. Katis de. Kai metemon. With us. Metemon. Hupotoi dendroi. Uh, malagar kamnes. You're very tired. Siude melita. Katis de kai siu. Uh, Akuete akuet, uh, akuet un ego gar bulomai kalon muton humin legame. By the way, so here we have kalon muton. I, the stuff I said earlier is true when we're talking in a moral context, but don't I, I, I don't want to mislead you they use this word all the time right so just here it's just a lovely story a nice story it doesn't have to have all that stuff they use mm -hmm. this all the time it depends on the context um it doesn't need to be all that jazz here a lovely story a nice story uh okay at least finish this part up um homen un papos cateude Malagar kamne, poide paides, katis dusin, shupo toi dendroi, kai akusin, epitumusigar. So epitumeo, as the mala 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 bulomai, bulomai bulomai bulomai, epitumusi as the hosper roma as the cupio, cupio as the. Sfodra, mala bulomai, epitumusi, gar akuen ton muton. Um, mm -hmm. Dalon, good so far, clear. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose, oh, shoot, we should probably in there. Let's see. The slave does not like the dog. Here's a little bit of a digression. This is definitely Italian edition. Just to get more repetitions, you notice that the side of the page is fairly sparse, right? Not a lot of new stuff, thank God. A couple pages long. To interrupt uh, Mommy before chapter six, she starts telling Theseus and the Minotaur. Um, so, okay, we got far enough, I guess. But uh, uh, we can start with six. We can start with six next time. Um, okay. Questions? Any questions? Meta questions? I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, in the Paulus thing I was doing, 
Uh, Akuo took the genitive. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the beginning of this class, you said, uh, Akue Tonkuna. Mm -hmm. So, Great question. What's, is that a Koine Attic thing or? No, no, it's it's already intra Attic, which is a cool of a person is the genitive. A cool and a thing, or I guess in this case it was a dog, but to hear a sound, it was like a cool tone psopon. So, but you... I hear you is a cool to Yoel. So you'd be like a cool. Ton psophon, a la a cuo, a tu thoribu. Um, I actually I think in that case it still be ton thoribu because it's not a human being. Ah, uh, okay, if got it's it. It's a human being. It's genitive. Got it. Listening to a person is genitive. Hearing a sound is accusative. Mm -hmm. I can put it that way. Other questions. I, again, I'm sorry for the long ass disposition on Cologne. I, it's really hard for me to say no to those because of my background. I, no, that's, my, was, that's my bread and butter. It was so helpful. It was so helpful. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to hear that. You said three times you learned Greek and now you get it. That really makes my day. It's because I always feel like I'm just like this old man who's like, eh, let me tell you something that none of you care about. And uh, if it actually did it for you, then that, that validates me. And I, I really appreciate that. Because yeah. Yeah. I think it's important. You know, I can't, I, I'm a philosophy guy, so I think it's really important and meaningful differences, but not everybody gives a damn. So, you know. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> well, at least one, even if Petrus thinks it was a huge waste of our time, at least that's 50 50, and that cancels it out. Yeah, yeah, so it's I okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I got All, right. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah. Bye.